Ryan Glover here. I wanted to do this video about Eminem and like, you know, why I don't consider him the greatest rapper of all time. I remember like, you know, in high school when Eminem, like, you know, I first heard of him and it was like maybe before like uh, he had signed with Dre. Like, you know, he had this huge buzz like on the underground and I had a cassette tape and it had songs like Murder, Murder. And like, I uh, remember listening to like a lot of those songs like, um, driving through detroit like on a, a trip a family trip to canada and like i was really like you know blown away like you know by his lyrical ability you know uh some of those songs like i still remember the lyrics like you know like the keys in the van with the guy in each hand went up in eastland shot a policeman you know i just thought like you know that the the shock value I never really heard anything like that. Obviously, I listened to like Insane Clown Posse, but they weren't really as skilled MCs as like Eminem is. Like you can't really take away the fact that he's a real MC. And the fact like, you know, that he was white, like, you know, that was like shocking because like, you know, back in that era, it wasn't a whole lot of like white people that could rap. The only people I could come to terms that I really thought like, you know, were great MCs that were white was maybe like Jojo Pellegrino, somebody like that. <clears throat> but, uh, Eminem eventually, like, you know, obviously he signed with Dre, became the biggest rapper on the planet in the household name. And I, I thought that was really cool to see, like, an artist and stuff who I had listened to before, like, you know, the world knew who he was. And, and, like, to see all these people, like, you know, bumping his music, like, you know, people say in the hood. But, like, I remember, like, hearing Eminem on the first and two albums the first two albums like hearing him in the hood you know where people would definitely be playing like you know the way i am like you're out of their truck so like um eminem like you know definitely like you know was a talented mc but one of the things i will point out is like as a kid like you know music that you listen to as a kid like you know doesn't necessarily have the same replay value that it does like you know when you become an adult i think like you know like as i become an adult like obviously i've matured you go through certain things and like, you know, listening to, you know, the Marshall Mavers LP isn't going to have the same uh, effect, like, you know, as I am now as like a grown adult male, like, you know, because I've been through more things in life. And I think like, you know, artists and stuff whose music, like, you know, that actually resonates with me and I can like, you know, understand their shared experiences or even things like, you know, that I listened to like when I was younger that I didn't get that I get now. Like, you know, the Tory is big, for instance, on, you know, life after death like you know uh or you know like uh tupac shakur like you know or uh jay-z nas and i think like you know by putting eminem like above all those mcs like you know like his technical ability because like i feel like technical ability isn't just the main factor and like you know sales can't be the main factor either you know like i think just because like someone sells a whole lot of records like, you know, there's a lot of factors, like, you know, why people sell records. And then, like, you know, there's people who are casual rap fans. I think mostly, like, you know, people who are fans of Eminem typically are just fans of him, you know, because they look like him, because he is white. You know, I know, like, a lot of MCs, like, you know, say that he's their favorite MC, like Rakim, for instance. You know, who, like, I consider, like, obviously to be, like, one of the greatest MCs of all time. And, like, I respect his opinion. But respectfully, I don't think, like, you know, that Eminem is the greatest MC of all time. And it's not because he's white. I think, like, you know, that Eminem has, like, you know, uh, an incredible catalog of music. And he definitely does have music that I resonate to and that I will listen to. But the thing that I would say about Eminem is that most of his, sem his singles have been gimmicky. Like, you know, there's just gimmicks. Like, my name is, like, you know, like, what is that? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like if he was black, if a black person had put out that same exact single, they would be laughed at, it wouldn't be accepted. And so, like, there's a different benchmark, like, you know, as far as, like, what's acceptable, you know, as far as, like, radio when it comes into play. Um, I would say, like, my favorite MCs, like, happen to be Jay-Z, Nas, I would even say AZ is an incredible, like, you know, um, artist. Like, you know, I wouldn't say he's like my GOAT MC, but like, you know, he's definitely in the conversation is like greatest MCs and I put him above Eminem. So like, you know, I think like, and I, I think like, you know, um, Eminem obviously like, you know, was influenced him like before the Marshall Mavers LP did the Infinite album and he was trying to sound like AZ. So at the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? And, and 
what I will argue is like a lot of people who are saying like Eminem is the GOAT, like, you know, he's the greatest MC of all time. They're probably like, oh, like they don't even know who AZ is or never listened to like a full AZ album. Like, you know, if you haven't listened to Asiatic, you know, like this conversation isn't for you. But like, you know, just as someone who's like grown and like been through different experiences, I feel like Jay-Z and Nas's music resonates more with me as a person of color particularly and i think that comes into place obviously there's going to be things and stuff on eminem's album that he can't talk about that don't speak directly to me as a black man so like why would like a white person like you know be like you know my favorite rapper that doesn't even make sense because like obviously i know like you know there's some shared experiences as a human experience but like you know in this world we live in where it's kind of like you know um racist I think like, you know, you want to have people that can speak to like certain issues that go on in your community, such as police, police brutality, you know, racism, the difficulty of finding like, you know, uh, jobs being black and like, you know, uh, I always like, you know, love like, you know, Dead Prez, like, you know, like I felt like um, their first album is a classic album, you know, uh, I probably put like, you know, Stickman in the top 100 MCs of all time, I put like a lot of rappers that you know um speak to me and the experiences i go through and i think that's the same thing for authors like you know like if you're black a book or a play that's written by a white author isn't going to resonate with you as much as like you know a play or like you know a book that's written i think like i so i always like you know like james baldwin is an author and like you know uh I read other like you know playwrights like you know James Baldwin wrote one play Amen Corner and I really resonated with it because he's coming from the experience of being a black person in America you know that perspective where like you know if I read a Israel Horowitz play like you know obviously there's going to be some shared experiences because he's a man if that makes sense but at the end of the day man like I think like Eminem is like a really great artist like technically uh, like I think like you know some of his music doesn't resonate in urban areas and I can see like why people would say things like that You know, like, you know, especially like, you know um, Take for instance, like, you know, he did this song like cleaning out my closet Where he's talking about like, you know, the issues that he's had with his mom And I feel like you know in the black community like we have much more appreciation for our mothers And that goes to the fact that like, you know, even like, you know, if our mothers were abusive Like, you know, I know a lot of like people who experience like, you know, abuse for their mom you know, just as bad as Eminem, where their mom probably did have Munchausen syndrome or like, you know, other mental health issues, which is very common in the African-American community. We don't really speak about like this stuff like that a whole lot of time or like, you know, the trauma. So like, uh, cause it's considered normal, like trauma in our community, like a lot of times and stuff and everything, like, you know, I just think like, you know, he comes from the lens of white privilege and like, you know, that's why like some of those songs, like, you know, aren't necessarily going to resonate or going to be like you know something that like um a black person would consider putting him in that top tier level of like you know he's the greatest mc of all time not to say that he's not a great mc because obviously technically he's great you know with lyricism but like i'm looking at from the content perspective i think content has to be a part of it like you know obviously like you know krs1 for instance like you know he's been through the struggle somebody who was homeless and talks about like you know real issues and his songs and society uh like you know i think he's a great mc like you know someone who i would consider like a goat like you know i think like i one of the best live performances i've seen like damn near everybody like live and i would say like krs probably like you know what i'm saying is the best live uh, show I've ever been to best MC like you know um, I don't know though like I, I just think like you know that Eminem is not like the GOAT MC like you know what I'm saying there's no diss to Eminem it's like you know because you're not the greatest but you're still in the top 10 like I don't understand like you know why people can't just take that as a compliment why did everybody have to be number one and no one's going to be number one for everyone whether like you know your favorite like rappers LL Cool J Nas Jay-Z or whoever it is like you know some obscure mc like you know who i might not even know who he is but like um yeah let me know in the comments who your favorite rapper is
if you understand what I'm saying, feel like I'm rambling, <laughs> yeah, follow me on Instagram, Ryan Glover 187. Follow me on Twitter, Ryan Glover 1982. Uh, and subscribe, like, comment, share.